Okay, so today we are going to uh, perform an experiment on determining the band cap of a particular uh, semiconductor. Here it is uh, taken to be germanium. So for that, this is the separate apparatus we are going to use. And uh, this is uh, a 0 to 10 volt power supply, as you can see that uh, it's a 0 to 10 volt power supply and we can change uh, a fine changing knob and a coarse changing knob is there so we are going to use this two in combination and here this is a diode here we have to uh, set up a diode where the diode is within this heater you can see that uh, red and this black uh, point here within this two there are uh, the diode is fixed and from uh, these two terminals we can put here to connecting wires to connect the diode so the red is uh, the p junction and this is the negative junction so here now it is a forward bias so and we have a 0 to 20 volt uh, voltmeter and we have a microammeter and milliammeter both we can use here we we can use it as a microammeter and here we can use that as a milliammeter so we have to see current from this uh, microammeter or milliammeter so this is a voltmeter we are going to uh, check the voltage uh, drop across the diode with this voltmeter and the current through the diode by this uh, microammeter or milliammeter whichever is necessary and you can see that uh, there is a thermometer uh, in this heater so that we can measure what is the temperature uh, of the uh, bath within which the uh, diode is uh, kept so now uh, as you can uh, see this is uh, a switch we have uh, not switch it on now as we are going to use the forward bias and it is in the room temperature so first of all let us uh, make the circuit uh, complete and then we can uh, use this circuit to perform the whole experiment so first of all we put the red uh, this uh, thing positive terminal with this uh, positive side of the p side of the diode and the negative terminal with the n side of the diode so now the whole thing is uh, forward bias and uh, we we should use the voltmeter we put the voltmeter across the diode and then we have to put the microammeter to get the current values so so this is more or less complete our circuit and uh, you can see that within this setup now the voltmeter is showing zero zero and this is showing something 16 or something it's fluctuating I think ignore this uh, part because uh, this is a temperature thermometer uh, sensor so we are not using that thing okay so now uh, as we can see that uh, it's not maybe not clear from the video so the temperature it is showing of the bath is 27 degree we have uh, preheated uh, that's why it's a bit high now from the room temperature but anyway we we can use uh, this part to do the uh, experiment so first of all uh, this is the this is the circuit diagram we are actually uh, doing now and 
from this circuit diagram what we are going to uh, get is the eta value of the diode so this is the forward characteristic equation iv characteristics from the diode this equation and you can see that um, we can use this equation and from that one can calculate the eta for germanium it uh, comes very close to one and for uh, silicon it's close to two i think so here we are using germanium so uh, maybe we are going to get uh, oh no i i think oh yeah we are using germanium so it uh, should come close to one okay so how we can perform it so first of all as you can see that if we slowly change the circuit means knob the temperature is going to so the current is going to change so. okay so as we have already said that we have finished our uh, experimental setup for the forward bias and now we have to change the voltage and accordingly we have to record the voltage drop across the diode means here and the current in microampere we will or milliampere so you see here you have to take into account that uh, we can change only up to 0.2 volt so very minimally we have to change from 0 0.01 0 0.02 and something like that and we have to note the value of the current so now it is 5 i think 0 0.01 volt and this is current is 3.3 .3 microampere so we are changing slowly and you can see that point zero four and the current is now 14.9 so slight change point zero nine it's changing rapidly it's eight eighty eighty four or something like that it's very fluctuating but anyway when once uh, the value settle down then we will take the reading and by this way we have to change this current and voltage and we have to take the readings just like this so it is going beyond 200 microampere so we can change the limit up to 2 microampere so it's a milliampere so 0.16 it's 1385 microampere so you see so point one nine. it's 1829 so 0 0.17 so we have to take the reading very carefully and after taking the reading this reading will come like this you can see that 0.01 it's 4.5 volt and then you have to transfer it in ln of that factor and up to 0.19 we have taken a value this is a reading taken already just you can see if we can provide the values from here so this part is over and from there you have to draw a graph of this voltage versus ln i and then you have to take the slope of the curve and from there you have to calculate the eta 
So this is the first part of uh, the experiment and then we have to do the second part of the experiment which is we have to put the uh, diode in reverse bars for that we will just do this thing we will change the circuit from we will change the polarity of the diode then it's negatively biased so now we have the circuit ready so this is actually this will look like now as this the circuit so again here we have to do a particular thing which is we have to take the voltage fix keep uh, the voltage fixed at a reverse bias of 3 volt something so twice we have to do the same experiment once at keeping the voltage reverse bias at 3 volt and then at 5 volt and here we have to turn on the this heater and with the change of temperature we can see from the thermometer that the mercury column will rise and from there we can see what is the temperature and we have to note the current from the uh, temperature versus current we have to take the reading but when actually it is cooling down means we first have to heat the whole thing up to 90 degrees centigrade and then we will switch off the heater and let the bath cool and then we will take the temperature versus uh, the current reading and we have to put in uh, this particular data set so here you can see we have to we can use the temperature and first we have to take the reading at temperatures you can see in degree centigrade then you have to change it in degree k and then 1 by t you have to plot for means 1 by t and a particular log of i naught which we are going to get the current in microampere so log of that i naught once we will do this thing twice one at 3 volt keeping the voltage at 3 volt and one at 5 volt and we have to draw a curve and this curve from this curve again we have to calculate the slope of the curve and it is for 5 volt and it is for 3 volt and we will use this curves and from there using the equations uh, those will be shown in the given experimental uh, theory we have to use these results and from there we can calculate the band gap means the EG where you can see there is a equation like this and we have to use this equation so okay fine so here you can see here the uh, temperature reading is now 30 degree 30 degree and current is 14.9 or 15 microampere like that so this will with the temperature rising this data will change accordingly but first we will not take the data once it uh, reaches the 100 degree or 90 degree and then we will stop heating further and then let the system cool and then in the state of cooling we will take the data 
of temperature versus current it will be steady more steady than when we are doing the heating process so avoid taking reading at uh, the time when you are heating the uh, bath and take the reading at uh, the process of cooling when the cooling is going on okay so this is more or less uh, the experimental setup uh, you have to use you can you can check the the value of the current is actually changing it's uh, now 18 19 volt whereas it is almost 37 degree the, the value of 37 degree so you can see that this is actually changing and we will provide a set of data as you have seen uh, here we will give you all the um, the data and the theories so don't uh, you will get all these things to calculate by yourself and check whether you are getting the band gap of the germanium material so okay uh, we can stop the video now and i think we, once you get all the data you can do the graphs and calculation by yourself